everybody, we are here at Universal Studios Orlando and the reason why I'm here today is to go check out all the goings on for Halloween Horror Nights. There's a lot of props, there's a lot of stuff that's out there for Halloween Horror Nights. There's also a boutique over at Islands of Adventure. The, uh, the front of the uh, tribute store is out, so I'm gonna go check all this out. Let's go check it out together and let's see what's coming on. I'm getting excited. We're less than a month away, like, I, think, I think a couple weeks from HHN. 30, so I am excited. Let's go out and check it out. So let's do it. All right, so we are in, and of course, you can see the lighting trusses up here between Minions and Shrek. But what from the last time we were here when we did a live stream, but what's different is they've got the signage up just a couple weeks away. Awesome. See it right here. Halloween Horror Nights. And you can see it right here, Halloween Horror Nights. Looking really, really good. You got this area right here. Possibly somebody standing right there. Let me zoom out. So they have somebody standing up there. This is amazing. Platform where somebody will be standing up there, possibly. Harden our dust. We are in the process of transforming our park for Universal Halloween Horror Nights. Yeah. Check this out. There's Fiona and Donkey. I'm so confused though, because I've never heard anybody say that Virginia was not born. So last time we were here, all the Olympic boats were here. And now they're all gone now that the Olympics are over. And we'll probably start seeing some HHN stuff show up here. But it's so clear over here. All right, so we're coming down. We're in New York over here by Jimmy Fallon. And look at the tribute store. Oh! That is cool. Wow. Yeah, look at that. So that's going to be in the interest of the tribute store. This is just awesome. Oh man, that's cool. Can't wait to see it. We saw the stage before, so it's going to be interesting to see what all goes on there. HHN. And then we also saw this truck. all these props over here and the same with this we saw all this last time we were here the controller sees all I wonder who he is why is he watching me other sign over there does he see the blues brothers who are now performing thank you so uh, you guys know we should do another one? Yeah. Alright, Austin, hit. More Halloween props over here. Some of the stuff that we're seeing over there by the mummy and by the truck. So more props over here. This is a full bathroom. Check it out. Got the sink. What is going on? So another prop sitting here for HHN. Look at this. And I don't know who this is, but in the mirror. If you yourself cannot release, then it will come to take a piece. Ooh. Wow. So in the San Francisco area, we got more props over here. We have this over here, this little stage that's over here. Look at this spider. This is cool. Check out this spider there. Awesome. Then you got this door right here. Not sure what this is supposed to be. But then you go a little further over 
and then you got this right here where this guy is checking his hair out. And it's all of this Christmas. I don't know if this is part of HHN, but it's got to be, right? Why else would that be here? Christmas lights and all. Let's see what else we can find. You got obviously got more of lighting over here. And you have all of this lighting going on over here by Pier 41. Something that has nothing to do with HHN, the wait time to get into Hogwarts Express has gone right to 45 minutes. So I'm guessing the driver never came back because these guys are still sitting here. Still waiting on the driver that's in Diagon Alley somewhere. You know when they're babies, they have trouble talking? Oh, really? Yeah, they're a little horse. Oh, that's fine. They're a little horse. My favorite potato jacket booth is open right now. You can still get your potatoes and you can get them at for $9.79. Already ate something, or else I'd be digging in. That sounds really, really good right now though. But I am full. Back to work, more lighting trusses here. Of course, we've showed all this stuff to you. So we'll make our way through here. Before we get the Simpsons. And then you got this. What is obviously definitely an HHN prop. Prop here. Good guys. He wants you for a best friend. He can be a cowboy. He can be a courageous soldier. <laughs> so this should be interesting, whatever this is gonna be. Too awesome. Obviously another food booth that's coming up. We come over here. And I'm not sure what that's going to be. Is that going to be a deal where they're going to be pe have people hanging off of it or at the top of it? Definitely got some lights up here. We do know there's a house that's going to be in this back area. probably how you'll get into it is through there as we pass in the Simpsons area past the sledge Homer <laughs> couple of you have already hit it All the carnival games actually not a bad day out it's really nice We're supposed to get a lot of thunderstorms today this is one of the first times I've come by this taco stand and not seen a long line. Wow. It's the line for this is normally over, it's like past the uh, Black to Future train. It's always cool. Look at this. I love that this is here. And look at that. You know, maybe I should look in this thing more often. But if you look in there, the Gray Sports Almanac. So, like Disney, where you come and you get your, uh, you do the photo pass. Here they've got many universal photos and it's already all automated. No photographers. You just, uh, up front there's a spot where you get your um, lanyard and your card. And then you come to these different spots. Like the DeLorean. Then you get your picture taken. You just gotta scan your card below and then and then all, all the stuff is uploaded to where you can get it later on. So that's how it works. So in the opposite end of the park from where Harry Potter and everything else is, they've got all of this up here. Again, all for HHN. It's on both sides. This looks pretty cool. And then there's this. What is that going to be? That's crazy. I guess we'll find out in a few weeks. We even have more HHN props over here. We have a stage over here. This is near the five and dime for all the HHN merch. Can be found along with the Born Stuntacular merch. That's all right here. 
there that is. And by the way, one uh, really cool thing, if you ever stop in Williams of Hollywood, that's Universal's prop shop. So props that they've used for HHN and other areas of the parks can be found there. There's another stage. And that's gonna be something. Not sure what they're gonna have over there. All right, let's go into the Five and Dine and look at some of the HHN merch. So for a limited time, you can purchase your portrait and see it displayed in the tribute store this year. You can do a smaller or a large one, but just so you know, it, uh, to buy the portrait, it costs close to uh, $200. I'll, I'll get the actual, I'll actually put it on the screen how much it actually cost. It gets hung up in the tribute store for HHN. And after that, after the uh, event ends, then they mail you your portrait back. And then you'll have a piece of memorabilia that has your photo on it that was at the tribute store. So that's kind of cool. So we've got more merch in here than we did last time we were here. Now we've got blood soaked popcorn. That's cool. How much is that? It's got the director on it. Uh, how much is this? Uh, I'm not seeing a price. Sometimes they put it really, really small where it's hard to find. I don't know. I don't know how much this is, but there's the blood soaked popcorn. And uh, they've got the socks. The socks are $20. Is that right? Yep, $20 for the socks. HHN. And they've got these glasses. They got different ones. These are all $12. Got this shirt right here for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Check that out. That is really creepy right there. How much is this? $30. Yes, I have this ringer tee, and I believe it's $30. Let me see here. Is it $30? $35 for that one. So there you go. Beetlejuice. This is a black light reflective shirt. And it goes for $30. And I think this is the Jack is Back one, I think. $28 for this one. Yep. I'm back. So that's that shirt. Got the hunting shirt. I believe we showed this last time we were here. And that one's $30 as well. So it looks like everything is... Uh, the Jack is Back is $28. This one's $30. Beetlejuice is $30. That one's $30. But that one is 35, the ringer tee. So there you go. We've also got some buttons. So let me show off the buttons here. So a pack of four buttons. And uh, these will run you $11. And we've also seen another stage here. Also found another stage here. As well as this invasion stage. Over here by the Born Spectacular. islands to go check out the boutique. Alright, the adventure begins here in Islands, so we are here for one reason, one reason only. Go check out the boutique. So this attraction right here in the Lost Continent of Islands of Adventure has been down for quite a while. Well now they got it behind a fence, so I wonder what they're planning on doing with this. I guess we'll have to wait and find out, but this is new. I haven't seen this before. All right, we found that All Hallows Eve Boutique. There it is. I'm gonna go in and check it out. It's right towards the end of the Lost Continent. There's a fountain over there. There's Harry Potter. And here is the boutique. Let's go check it out. So inside of here, you've got a lot of different masks. Like, look at this. Look at those. How much are these? These are kind of cool. 
These are 30. And you've got Halloween mask. So face coverings are eight each, or three for 20. And then you got all the uh, keychains. You got a Beetlejuice keychain. And uh, that'll run you $14. I showed the buttons earlier, but they've got a uh, 30 years, 30 fears lanyard, which you can put your annual pass on. And how much is that? That one doesn't have a price. Uh, well, there you go. That makes it easy. $15 for the lanyards. So all the lanyards there. The, these Chucky socks, they're $20. We showed you those socks right there. And then they've got this shirt. This shirt is freaking awesome. Look at that. Cool. Look at this in here. This is so cool. Look at this. All the pumpkins in here, all lit up. This is really awesome in here. No, we can get it. It's a four One of the things I couldn't quite do was look at the hat. So we got these different hats here for twenty-five. All these different masks. Check this one out. That's cool. This one is $32, $32 for that one. Check him out. So this beetle juice is $18 and it's laminated. So that's kind of cool. So you got beetle juice popcorn. And still no price. I have no idea how much that is, but that looks really cool. And you got the coffee mug. Coffee mug is really, really cool. And the coffee mug is $20. And then you've got this awesome shirt. The shirt is $40. And then, look at that. The juice, you've actually got this glass. This glass is really cool. It's $21. And check this out. It's a nice old glass. I got fresh fudge. This is 12. All Hallows Eve Fresh Fudge. I wonder if they'll have that in the tribute store. And I can get to some of this stuff. I've got the Summon the Spirits. I guess those are coasters. It's got to be coasters, right? Yeah, it's a coaster set. 45. Then you've got this Witch's Brew mug. It's a mug and spoon set. That's kind of cool.
this. So right here, they have a key lime jalapeno sauce. And it's 14. So there you go. They've also got pumpkin spice. What is this? Pumpkin spice coffee. Coffee shop of horrors. That's kind of interesting. How much is that? $20? Brutal grounds coffee. Dark roast. Zombie dirt. <laughs> all these are $20. I'll be coffees. And they've got ghost tonic. That's got to be really steaming hot. $16 for this. Shrinking toad. And then they've got this one right here. Habanero garlic sauce. That sounds actually really good. There's the heat level right there. These are 14. And there's one more hot sauce to show you. Devil's blood. I bet that's the hottest one they got. Where's the indicator at? All right, do I really need to ask? Devil's blood. I guess that's pretty hot. $16 for that one. And one more to show you, Highlander Grog coffee. And that's 20. And these, are they all beans? Okay, that was beans. Saren Song, beans. Chicken Toad. Yeah, they're all beans, okay. okay. Fair enough. More of the mugs I was showing you. And then you have these, you have this trinket box. It's a spirit, it's a spirit on it. Check out the eyeball on that. That's 45. And then you got this trinket box. And, oh, oh man, I'm gonna buy a trinket box. $45. Hey, just put that away. And is this one also 45? That was nice. Let's see, I'm gonna break something. That one's 50. Okay, don't drop that one. And. I'm not touching that. I don't know what it is, but it looks fragile. And it says fragile, so I am not touching it. These are all the ones I just showed you. Wish I knew how much that was, but I'm gonna stay far away. The trinket, the trinket boxes look really, really cool. Then you have all these different necklaces. So there's a, is that a skull? Yeah, that's a skull. And how much are these? $17.95, so 18 bucks. And this is a bike chain. <laughs> and it's 20. A bike chain uh, bracelet. And that's, that's 13. And you got some of these little characters here. There's Chucky. Which is Chucky? Boy, he is creepy. He is some kind of creepy. Look at that. <laughs> I don't know if I'm taking him home. 26? I guess he's Chucky. It looks like Chucky. Look at this guy. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. 26? Yeah, you guys are... A definite 12 point on my uh, weird, I don't know what the hell to think, meter. 26. They're kind of cool looking, but not in my house or not. <laughs> Check him out. Trick or treat. I like the pumpkin though. And then here's this guy right here. And Grim. Grim Reaper 26. And then we got one more. I'm gonna show you. Check this one out. So you come out of the store, we have our favorite fountain. You think any of them know he talks? I bet they don't know. But you can tell he's been spewing water. 
Well, I, I was going to see if he was going to start talking. He, I'm going to try to talk to him and try to get him to squirt at me. So, All right, yeah. Good yeah, I'll put you on, I'll put you on our uh, vlog. Nice. All right, he's going to try to get him to talk. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Do it. Do it. <laughs> All right, so we tried to get him to talk, but he was not talking, but we had a great time here at Universal today. We saw all the cool props. We showed you the new merch that's over in the Five and Dime and the new Halloween boutique over here at Islands. I'm excited. I can't wait to, uh, to be a part of this and um, actually enjoy the festival. Last year was a, was, was a uh, festival that they did with a park ticket. It was a lot less than what an actual HHN event is like. So, I mean, I've even got my, um, I've even got my lanyard. I'm ready to go, so I can't wait. But for now, we are out of here. So make sure you hit that like button and make sure to subscribe if this is the first time watching our vlogs, our streams. So with that, I am out of here. You guys have a great day and we will see you real soon. Thank you. Bye-bye. What -bye. if he's going to talk? He's bubbling back there. Yeah, nothing. He's not going to talk. All right, you guys have a good one. We'll see you.